Now the latest song by artist Nicki Minaj is a hit. It's called Anaconda. It's got a catchy track and a catchy tune. But what else is there to this song? Today we're going to be doing an in-depth analysis of the many levels of themes and motifs in this piece of auditory literature. The most obvious theme, that of the anaconda in the title, alluding to the early United States symbolism involving various snakes. This includes the Gazden flag used in early revolutionary times depicting a rattlesnake ready to strike, or Benjamin Franklin's famous cartoon reading, Join or Die. In this song, the anaconda refers to the modern struggle of many U.S. citizens trying to achieve the American dream, despite our society being in constant flux. Beyond the title, the song includes several anecdotes, each of which has themes and motifs that can be individually analyzed. The first anecdote revolves around a so-called boy toy named Troy, a local entrepreneur based in the U.S. city of Detroit. Troy sells wholesale generic pharmaceuticals. As a result of this, he earns a large salary. But for a reason unknown to us, he prefers to be paid in coins as opposed to cash. However, something is rotten in the state of Michigan, as evidenced by Troy's frequent encounters by law enforcement. In addition, Troy feels the need to buy Nicki Minaj various material gifts, such as Alexander McQueen brand products, to maintain her affection. The clear message in this segment is that despite achieving financial success, we must all still deal with frequent existential crises. The second anecdote involves a motorcycle enthusiast by the name of Michael. Nicki Minaj compares him to the Eiffel Tower, invoking ideas of romanticism about the famous French city. We discover that Michael is an avid user of cocaine, and despite being extremely dangerous, this is significantly impressive to Nicki Minaj. This suggests inner turmoil of the character, possibly as a result of trying to decide between impressing his peers and ingesting a dangerous substance. Here we can draw a clear parallel between Anaconda and William Shakespeare's Hamlet, where the character also faces significant inner turmoil. Therefore, we can see the main theme of this segment is that of dealing with one's own cognitive dissonance. Finally, the third act of Anaconda involves not another anecdote, but a first-person narration by Nicki Minaj. We hear a sample by 20th century poet Sir Mix-a-Lot, often regarded as a pioneer in the classical music industry. But perhaps the most interesting verse of the song is when Nicki Minaj finally breaks down and vents her inner frustration. We hear her say, quote, Fuck those skinny bitches, fuck those skinny bitches in the club. I want to see all the big fat ass bitches in the motherfucking club. Fuck you if you skinny bitches. Here is the climax of the song, where we get a classic catharsis of the main character. Like the protagonists of many Greek tragedies, Nicki Minaj finally realizes who she is and is not afraid to vent this anger. In conclusion, Anaconda is a musical masterpiece. It's a wonderful social commentary on our modern society and reveals the hidden frustrations within ourselves. Surely we will remember this piece for many years to come, and it's no wonder why this became so popular in the first place. Now we can only imagine the amazing work to expect from Nicki Minaj in the future. Thanks for watching, guys. If you want to see more 100% totally serious videos, don't forget to subscribe and also leave a comment saying you liked it. Also, don't forget to hit me up on Twitter and Facebook. If you want to see some more videos, those will be on the right-hand side. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.